All right. Just like Monokuma is saying right now, we are entering the true ending mode. No more thinking that we had a bad, en bad ending in the last trial. No more fooling around. We're going to be doing... We're going to be starting our investigation soon enough. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Ooh. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? <laughs> <laughs> How very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. The time for our talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. Yeah. That is true. No more fooling around this time. But, but I was planning on working alone from the very beginning anyway. In the name of my family. At this point, I can rely only on myself. On the Togami blood flowing through my veins. <laughs> I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Goodbye. Well then. Don't, don't, don't go solo again! Come back, you bastard! Ah. Oh, he's sure to be a pain in the ass in the class trial, but... Eh. Whatever. Good luck out there, Byakuya. After making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. G -g -g master he, he didn't take me w with him. Yep, it would seem so. You're gonna have to work alone on this one, Togo. Or just stay in your room. Or whatever. Hey. Yeah, blame him. Wait out, master. The first of you are like... Coffee with cream without the cream. Or coffee. Shut up. Yeah. You're totally useless. So, bye bye Alright, well. Uh, whatever the case, I do have hope in you, Toko. Hopefully you're gonna find something. And you're gonna be able to be of... And you're, hopefully you're gonna be of great help to us. With that, Toko trudged out, trudged out to the dining hall. Uh, you no, know, she's gone. And, and you're gonna go off by yourself, right, Yoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. It just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go my, by myself too. Just a second. Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit to figure out the mastermind's true identity. <laughs> well, <laughs> good luck with that, you. Tumbleweed of... with no brain. Laughing loudly, Hiro left the dining hall. Well, it would seem that everybody is uh, going on their own, even Kyoko. Everyone was, everyone's really gonna go by themselves? What about you, Hina? Hmm. Mm. I guess I'll do the same thing. But... It's not that I don't trust everyone, right? You know? But it's in the script, so... Cause, I mean... But up until now, I haven't really been all that help, all that useful. I just depended on Sakura, and everyone else. You're not useless. If you had been here, I would have died. Huh? Makoto? <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice of you to say. But... Uh, still, I, would, I know I've mostly been totally useless. Okay. So I figure at least here at the end, Maybe I can find something that will help us all get out of here. Alright, well. You know what? I am not gonna stop you. In the name of Sakura, you should definitely try to prove yourself even more of a help for us. For Sakura's sake. So I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later! Hina was in a surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. Yeah, that's right. High spirits. She is the true definition of high spirits at times. And once again, it's just the two of us. Indeed. Oh, it's just the two of us, my dear. And soon enough, we're gonna part ways once again. So, you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Yoko? However... Oh, don't misunderstand. 
just because we're going to do our searches separately, doesn't mean we can't still work together. Yeah, that's right. So... That goes for all of us. I mean, somebody is already dead. Like, not one of us, not one of us that are still surviving here. I mean, there could be the possibility of one of us being the mastermind, but... In a way, hmm. That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. Plus, it's just like Yoko said at some point during the chapter or so. We all have to come to our own conclusions. By investigating on our, on our, on our own. And then in the class trial we shall work together on that. I should just see it as us splitting up to cover more ground. Yeah, that too. And then we can get back to together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. So then. Well, I better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Man, that is true. Well. Correct. Malakuma said all the doors in the school had been unlocked, right? So you should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto. Makoto. No matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone. Leaving only me. Well. Once again, Kyoko is gone. I shall see you once again at the class show, my dear. But... It's just the two of us, Makoto. Together we shall work on this. I'm not gonna leave you. <laughs> I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the Mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove that the Mastermind isn't one of us. Mm. Yeah. I guess we should start uh, with this. To see if uh, we're gonna find like, some evidence that proves that it isn't one of us, maybe. I'll expose the Mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of the school. And then we can all escape together! I guess I'll start by taking another look at Mukuro's... Malakuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed by a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. It had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Once we found out who killed Mukuro Ikusawa, then we'll know who the mastermind is. So, where should I start my investigation to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster's room, the bio lab, and the door in the data center with Monokuma's face on it. Oh, and the second floor of the dorms where the gate was, the, was down before. That should be open, right? And I would assume that those are the dorms. After that, I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder. Which means the garden and the dojo. Whoa, jeez, we have a lot, of, a lot of stuff to investigate. Okay, time to get investigated. Mm, places to check. Okay, well, I do have a list of places to check, but let me just see about this again. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. That could be true if uh, the mastermind did... Uh, if, if, if the mastermind did kill Mukuro Ikusaba, then it would make sense to hide the identity. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. Yep. Which could make me think that... Uh, which kind of makes me think that uh, that this Mukuro could have been killed before the night time and all that. With the metal pipe or... I don't know. And then uh, the body was moved to the garden to make us think that one of us killed Mukuro. Hence the knife and the tarp and all that stuff. And also the stuff that we found in the dojo. The the titanium arrows and the duct tape pinning the crime on either Makoto and uh, Kyoko. It would definitely be in, a, in a, the mastermind's advantage. Alright, so first things first. You know what? I guess I should uh, check the dorms right now. Ah, there you go. 
Ah, finally, this place is open. Ah, I've been hitting those... Uh, I've been trying to open this like nobody's business. The gate's open. We can finally check out the, the second floor of the dorms. Which means... I have to do it. I have to do it. We shall definitely do... Wait, wait. What the hell happened here? Jesus Christ on a fiddle stick. This is the second floor of the dorms? This isn't slaughter. This is like apocalypse over here. What just happened here? Explosions? Did a monster come over here? Uh, there's also dry blood over there, but I don't care about that. How in the world did this... Uh, bec it looks like some ancient ruins. Oh no. It's more like a battlefield. Like a bomb blew up here or something. Oh. It could be that the, the Monokumas were fighting some people over here and exploded all over the place. That could create it, so I guess. Yeah, seriously, this just looks surreal. It makes you feel so... It, it, feels, it makes you feel like such an old place. Yeah, look at this. Everything is ruined over here. Uh... Can I go over here? No, try not. Oh, I can go over here, it seems. Hmm. Yeah, we do have some places we can investigate. Let's check uh, the destroyed room over here. Yeah. It definitely looks like uh, one of our own rooms, except much more destroyed. We have like holes over here, like giant holes. I wonder what those are. Holes made that way? Look at that. Look at that pattern. I wonder what that could be. Those are not bullets. Those are not like weapons. We have a destroyed table over here. Lots of blood. Okay, well, let's check the bed. There are some files over here. Is there something useful over here? The bed is completely torn apart. I mean, it's not even really a bed anymore. It's just garbage. <laughs> hey! Monokuma coins, yes! I opened the door just a crack, glanced inside, and immediately closed it again. There wasn't even a hint of a bathroom, just a big pile of rubble. So I guess we're not able to get inside there. Okay. Well, I guess uh, this room does tell uh, some sort of a story over here. There was this one student that lived in this room, and then suddenly all this stuff happened. The, the only thing that was left inside there was the Monokuma coins inside the bed. But that would mean that... Nah, that would, that would be just stupid, like... What would... No, whatever. <laughs> I'm just thinking of some stupid stuff over here, whatever. This is the girl's bathroom. Even in a place like this, I... Can't... Bring myself to go in. Oh, come on! Now you're bringing up the morality of go... Of not going in a girl bathroom? There could be answers there! Well, fine. If we all die because nobody checked the girl's bathroom, then I will blame you, Makoto. You know that? I will blame you. Alright, let's check the boy's bathroom because that's the one that... Are those fishies still alive? Well, this place feels untouched. What the hell? What could this mean? I mean, there's no point in making that room still intact. Uh, the, the hell? Hmm. What is this? Hmm. Lockers. This room is filled with lockers. It must have been for the Hope Speak students who came before us. The class before ours must have used these lockers. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Um. Okay. Um, I guess we shall uh, check uh, everything over here. It would seem that some of these lockers are blocked by the metal casing over there, like the metal, the metal plate. I do wonder f why. I can't imagine any way to get this locker open. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna bother trying. Really? I wonder if I can open this locker. Nope, locked. There's a card reader installed on the door. That must be how you get the, open, the locker open. After all, it's pretty much similar to the card readers for the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. And you have to use your e-handbook to open those up. So does that mean... Uh, huh? 
Let's give it a try. All right, taking the handbook and uh, no, no luck. Maybe only the locker's owner can open it, which means none of us can do it. I mean, is that even true? It could be that uh, our our handbooks were once used to open those lockers. Okay, well, it took me a, quite a while to check the, all those lockers, but yeah, nobody, uh, like, nothing is, um, I can't really use my handbook on any of those lockers, so might as well just continue. There's a lot of dry blood here. And there's an Egyptian eye there. And there's that. Huh. I do have to wonder. I do have to wonder about that, but eh, this is the last room. Uh, wow. This room is really fancy. Wait, fancy? In such a destroyed place like this? This could be the hideout of the mastermind, could it? This room doesn't really feel like a student's room. It has more, more adult atmosphere. And it would seem that way. Correct. Uh, uh, hello, Kyo. It's the math master's private room. Kyoko! Jesus Christ, woman, you're scaring me. Indeed. I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one little regret. So I decided to check it out one more time. Uh, regret? Well, what is it? Uh, we could check uh, the PC over there. There's a PC on the desk. It must have belonged to the headmaster. It would seem... Whoever used this last, it looks like they were very in interested in the ultimate despair. And the PCs? The PCs still have some search results left on it. And we might be able to get some info on the ultimate despair? However, There's not much though. Nothing we don't already know. In other words, The ultimate despair isn't one individual. But instead, it point instead points to some kind of group. That group is responsible for the tragedy, which happened one year ago. They are the worst sort of people, whose driving force comes from despair. However, And that's all there is. Not much to it, is there? <sighs> but I guess that's the best he could do as a complete kitty kitty failure. Um, hmm. But any information about the mastermind is helpful, right? I appreciate whatever info we can get our hands on. Correct. I see. That's that's a good outlook to have. The ultimate despair. Alrighty then. We have that. Let's see what it says. The phrase "ultimate despair" doesn't refer to a single individual, but a like, but a like-minded group of people. One year ago, that group brought about the single worst event in human history, and that is the tragedy. They are motivated only by despair, making them some some of the most despicable people ever live. Then could this also mean that the mastermind is truly responsible for the tragedy? I don't even think so. Uh, well, there is something here, but... Um, Kyoko? Kyoko looks almost meek right now. She must be thinking about something. I probably shouldn't bother her. Okay, well... Might as well. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna check this wall. Huh? There's a strange gap in the wall. Is this some kind of design mistake? Or a construction defect or something? Nah. <gasps> Knowing my murder mystery novels and all, there should be like a secret place over there. So... There's a gap here. But not just any normal gap. I can feel a breeze coming out. A breeze? Indeed. There's like an open space on the other side of this wall. Open space? Does that mean... Uh, you mean like a hidden room? Bum bum bum! You guessed right. I think I might know how to open it. You know how to open it? Did you figure out some kind of trick or something? Indeed. A very easy trick, yes. So easy, I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. I saw a program on that PC that I can control... That I think controls it. Oh, uh, okay. Enter the right password and the door should open right up. 
However, but I don't have a clue what that password might be. All I know is it's probably made up of letters and or numbers. We can't really go from there. Alright. That's not nearly enough to go on. It's true. Um Maybe this is just me, but maybe we should try Despair? Monokuma? Hope Speak Academy? Mukuroi Kusaba? Kyoko? Dimensio? Misha? Hanako? Gyakuya is an asshole? I give up. I learned more about him than I had any desire to. I looked through all his paperwork, all the files on the PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I had any desire to, but nothing that might have been in his password. <sighs> when I think of how much I, time I wasted on this... Sheesh. So there's a hidden room she couldn't get into? That's what she meant by regret. I think we can assume that there must be some kind of clue waiting in there. Clue, clue, clue. Jenny the clue. We shall find some more clues. But maybe for her, there's more to it than that. Mm. Anyway, if we want to get in there, we need to figure out the password. And if Kyoko can't figure that out, then why do I stand a chance? No, wait. There might be a chance. Oh. Is it uh, Byakuya is an asshole? Is that the password? That password could be... Something Kyoko wouldn't have thought of. Or something she didn't want to think of. For example... What about your name? What? Huh? Yeah, that could be it. Huh? If this was uh, the headmaster's room, aka your father... It could be your name. Oh, sorry. I, I, was try I, was, I was just trying to think of what the password might be. I'm sure she hasn't tried it. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password. Knowing how she is, I bet the idea never even occurred to her. Um, do you mind if I try it? Just to be sure. Well, It's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want. Yep, okay. Alright, well, let's try, I guess. You know, I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's name. But if that's not it, that might just hurt Kyoko even more. <laughs> yep, you kind of shot yourself in the po foot there a little bit if it's not Kyoko's name. Ew, she's just gonna look at you all. Ah. Hey. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know that your guess is wrong. Oh, okay. In that case, oh, here goes nothing. I clicked it myself, then turned to face the computer monitor. Let me just uh, type the password over here, and I typed in her full name, Kyoko Kirigiri. My hands were tense, slightly trembling, and as I finished typing it in... Oh! So I guess it was, uh, it was um, a true password. It was the right password there. The what? That did it? Kyoko! It worked! Why? Oh. <laughs> well, that was a. Uh, uh, Kyoko? Well, now she's feeling. Um, yeah, now she's feeling a little bit weird now that. Uh, she found out that uh, her father used her own name as a password. Without looking at me, she disappeared into the hidden room. She looked... grim. Oh. Did she figure out something there? Did she figure out that there could be something hidden that she might know? Does she know what there might be inside? Now that uh, we opened that? Hmm. I do wonder. And I guess we're gonna have to figure that out in the next episode, ladies and gents. I do wonder what's inside. Hmm.